I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim solar panel assembly video. So uh, I have the step six uh, checklist here, and I'm also referring to the wiki instructions. So this is a, uh, this is a side panel of the uh, 1U CubeSat Sim frame. And uh, so this is the, this is the uh, go-to solar panel uh, that we use on the CubeSat Sim. And you can see it, uh, it just fits, fits kind of perfectly uh, on, uh, on one side. Um, of course, a, uh, a cube has six sides. Um, this particular solar panel, uh, it's 90 millimeters by 80 millimeters and the 5.5 means 5.5 volts. So the main thing about, uh, about selecting solar panels for it is that they have to be at least 5 volts. So 5 volts or 5.5 volts is good. And, uh, and they can't be too big. Uh, they basically can't be bigger than 100 millimeters. Otherwise, they'll be bigger than the, uh, than the cube, uh, CubeSat frame. So this particular one here uh, is good for... Uh, is, is good for the uh, uh, three of the sides plus uh, the bottom. So typically we'll need four of these, uh, of these solar panels. Now it's also possible if you're not able to find this, uh, this 90 by 80 uh, millimeter one, you might be able to find this uh, 95 by 95 millimeter one. It's a little more common. You can see it's just I don't know. It's just a tiny bit too big, um, but it's still it's still less than 100 millimeters, so it does fit. Um, and if we have a look at it here, it's uh, 95 millimeters by 95 millimeters and 5.5 volts. So if you can't find the others, um, you can you can use uh, four of these if you want. Now there's also uh, a um, a smaller one, um, which is the uh, 90 millimeter by 70 millimeter. So that's that's this one here. Uh, and you can see it's 90 millimeters by 70 millimeters and it's 5 volts instead of 5.5. Uh, so 5.5 is better, but 5 volts still works. The reason we need uh, we need two of these is that one of them goes on the side like this so that the push buttons and the remove before flight and the LEDs are all visible down the bottom there. So you need, you need one for that. Also, uh, when you're putting it on the top, um, if you're using the SMA antenna, which comes out here, then if you put one of these, one of these size panels, uh, it covers it up. So that's why you need uh, one of these uh, 90 by 70 millimeter. So, so typically you need uh, you need two of these and uh, four of these for your uh, for your CubeSat sim. Um, also, just mentioned that sometimes on uh, Amazon and other places you'll find them uh, find these solar panels, and also note that all these have a plastic film on them that that you peel off. Um, so some of the ones on Amazon um, have uh, leads attached to them. You notice they're soldered and, and there's a bit of insulating material there. So this is okay. Um, you, just, you just cut this wire off and, and solder our connectors on. Um, that's fine. Let me give you an example of one that is not fine. So this one here, this is the larger size. This is the 95 by 95 um, millimeter. But when you have a look at the back here, uh, see this little, there's like a little plastic box here, um, right? This one just had, you could see the wires and there's just tape, right? There's just a, a little foam tape here for insulation. But here, there's actually a diode built in. Now, we put a diode in the circuit, but we use a very high quality Schottky diode with a low voltage drop. The diode that's here is really lousy. Uh, it's a really low quality diode and, uh, and it, it will impact the, 
the charging performance. Um, so I would I would not recommend buying solar panels that have this uh, that have this built-in diode, and you can usually tell that by this plastic. Of course, you could probably rip that off and, and unsolder it, but um, but I would just recommend uh, getting the the right ones. Okay, now there's also uh, an option here for um, for for some smaller ones um, if you're using the the Pi camera. So I'll show you those in a in a separate video um, about the uh, about the Pi camera. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and make up a couple of uh, a couple of cables. So we've got our solar panels, and now there's two types of leads. Uh, one of them is the is the um, micro JST here, and uh, this connector here, this is the one that plugs into the uh, the main uh, PCB. Right, we had those those eight connectors for that. Um, it's also the same one that we use for the for the battery. And then there's also these JST ones called called RCY here, and these ones are nice because they have this inline uh, inline connector. They're nice and strong and secure, and you can label them. I like using these because I often unplug my solar panels for various experiments or to move things around or to demonstrate things. So that's why the, the cables that we're going to make up, it's going to be one side of it is going to have this JST connector, and then the other side is going to have, uh, is going to have this uh, JST RCY, and then this side is, gonna, is going to solder onto the, uh, onto the solar panel itself. So we're going to solder the red lead onto the plus and the uh, minus, uh, the black lead onto the minus. Now, if you're not planning on, uh, on disassembling or doing experiments with your CubeSat SIM, um, you could just, uh, just use this, this wire here and just solder it directly, directly on there. So we'll do, we'll do one of those um, that way. Another thing is, um, is just before you use these connectors, make sure that you double check the polarity with red and black. Um, these two here are both the, the correct polarity. So for example, here um, the, the uh, uh, terminals are exposed here and you can see the red is on the right. If you flip it upside down so the slot is there, you can see the red is on the left. And with this one here, you can see that uh, it's a little hard to see, but the, this opening here is not square. It's actually rounded uh, on the top two edges here. So if you place it that way, the, the red one is on the right. Or if you're looking at it uh, at the other side here, if you're, if you're looking at the terminals, uh, the red one is on the left. Unfortunately, when you order these, um, sometimes they come with the opposite polarity. And it's possible to actually switch them um, by, by uh, pressing on the connectors and pulling the wires, or you can just swap the, swap the polarity. Um, but you want to check them before you start soldering, uh, because if you get the polarity wrong, um, then the, the solar panel will not put out any, uh, any current um, when you try to use them. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and make one up here. Uh, so we're going to uh, take this connector here. I'm going to do the JCY and, uh, and we're basically just going to um, solder it here onto these two pads. Uh, now, the copper on here is not that great a quality. These are very low cost solar panels. You can often find them for $2 each. Um, also, sometimes they've been sitting a while, they have corrosion on them. So for that reason, um, I like to use some liquid flux uh, before I solder them. It just gives, just makes it, makes it easier. So I'm just gonna put uh, a drop of liquid flux on each of them. And then I'm going to uh, tin the wires here. 
with a little bit get in place and let's solder them on here tail sticking out there now when you use liquid flux you often hear it uh, hear it sizzle so let's do the same here very good so we have soldered them on there um, I also like to use hot glue uh, to basically glue the uh, the insulation the plastic red and black to the uh, to the surface of the of the solar panel and that way when it pulls it's not pulling directly on the solder connection and uh, and on the trace okay so that is uh, that one is is done now we still need to make up the make up the connector um, so we need to make up a connector that goes from this uh, 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 RCY to the micro JST so I'm just going to cut this uh, cut this off short I don't need to be need to be that long and then I will just uh, trim the leads trim the insulation okay and uh, I'm going to, once these are soldered, I'm going to use heat shrink uh, to seal them up and prevent them from shorting. So I'm going to take this piece of heat shrink tubing, I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to slide it on here. There we go. Okay, all right, so, uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna tin both of the both of the wires here. Then I will do the same go. and now we go ahead and solder these. Okay, so that looks good, and now I can slide the heat shrink tubing, cover up the connectors here, joins, and then I'll apply heat to those um, in order to uh, in order to shrink that and have them ready. All right, so that is so that is one we just made up this uh, 90 by 80 millimeter one. Let's go ahead and uh, and, and do one more. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, do the 90 by 71, and for this one, I'm just going to I'm not going to do the the uh, uh, the uh, JCY connector. I'm just going to put this one straight on there. So I'm not going to cut it off. I'm going to leave it. Um, leave it full full length so I'm going to uh, tin the wires here so they have a bit of solder on them and then I'm going to apply a drop of liquid flux to the plus pad and the minus pad And then on 
here and give them the solder. There we go. Red goes to plus, and black goes to minus. Okay, that looks good. It's the connector, and again, uh, I would use hot glue here just to just to attach the wires to it, so that way when they when they pull, it's not. Uh, it's not pulling on the uh, on the traces. Okay, so we've uh, so we prepared one of each of the uh, of the solar panels that are needed, and uh, then once we built the frame, we will attach these solar panels.